Have you ever heard of a term called prosperity gospel? It's all over the world. Some people call it the prosperity of the gospel. But I think sometimes it is a misinterpretation of all the Bible texts that refer to God trying to give us blessings when we're faithful to Him. Let me just name four or five references. Malachi 3.10, Matthew 25, verse 14 to 30, John 10.10, 10, Philippians 4.19, 1 John 1, verse 2. All the authors that believe in prosperity gospel, they misinterpret these texts to their own end. Why do they do that? Because they believe that if I give, I am guaranteed a return. That makes the Bible a contract. But I want to remind you, the Bible is not a contract. It is a promise of what God will do for us. He is not so much interested in whether you are rich or poor. He is interested in your heart, in your attitude, and the decisions that you make. Let me give you two examples that illustrate that the prosperity gospel is false. The first one is in the Old Testament. It is a man named Job. He had wealth. He had family. He was probably the richest man in the East, but he lost it all. But he said, God, if you slay me, I will still serve you. But some people say, well, his faith was broken. Job's faith never was broken. So if you don't have all these blessings, the prosperity gospel people say, your faith is broken. But God wants to know when he comes back if there's faith on the earth. So Job is an answer to the prosperity gospel teaching. And I like the next one. It is the ultimate. And that illustration is Jesus. When he came to this earth, he was poor. As a matter of fact, he left his riches in heaven. He owns the whole universe. He, he, he denied Satan the opportunity of handing him all the world possessions in the wilderness when he said, it is written. I just want to remind you, when Eve went into the garden alone by herself, she came to a tree. You know, the, that's a familiar story. She saw, she desired, and she took. There's another guy. His name is Achan. He saw a Babylonian garment. He desired it, and he took it. What about you? What do you see? What do you desire? And what do you take? I hope you'll take Jesus.